Hi, Jack. Hey, what are you doing, Vince? How's everything? Not too much, man. Just got through Groundhog Day. It's uh, February 3rd today. What did he say? He saw his shadow, so six more weeks of winter. I could put up with the winter we've been having. It's, it's been a, pretty nice. It's a very odd winter. I saw a sale today coming in. Really? To meet you just before we went to breakfast. Garage sale? In, it said inside sale. Right down here on that uh, by that second light. Uh, not the first one by the uh, restaurants. So you come on down, there's nothing there, and you make a left and come on in off of uh, the 49. And you didn't stop? No, it said uh, 8 o'clock, and I was there, and I was late getting here. Oh, man, you got to go back after this. Yeah, I am. <laughs> so I want to talk to you a little bit about wintertime picking. You got any tips for, I mean, there's a whole heck of a lot less garage shells. Maybe you did find one today that's indoor, but for the most part, there's not many out there. So no. where, where do you find your stuff these time, this time of the year? Well, one of the best ways, naturally, is to run a little ad. You know, like if you're running short on stock, you can run an ad and say, uh, I buy and sell anything, you know, and you'll get a lot of calls and you'll get a chance to kind of call it out what you want. But uh, I have found that just talking to people is really good. Like if you're in a restaurant having a cup of coffee and uh -huh. you ask somebody, hey, uh, you know, I buy and sell uh, antiques and collectibles or uh, household items. Do you have anything you want to sell? You'd, you'd be shocked how many people. No okay. kidding. So just out of the blue, you just start talking about it? Or sure. Talking sure. to your waitress or whatever? I mean, I know I'm a little bashful, but I've never had trouble talking <laughs> yeah, to Yeah, not you. Not you. And, uh... You, you can still pick in the stores. It's a bad time of the year, a slow time of the year for some of the stores when the weather gets bad, but we've had nice weather. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I picked up three pieces of uh, carnival glass, uh, not 50 years, it's a little older, like 40s and 30s. I picked up three pieces for uh, $12 in a shop. Bucks? Yeah, they had five bucks a piece on them, and that was reasonable, but I took a shop for the extra few bucks because it's winter time. Yeah. And uh, one of the things I noticed is everybody says, well, and you know this is a fact. Uh, bigger items like a snowmobile or something, of course this time of the year that might not be good for eBay or anything. But generally things that won't sell in the summer will sell a lot better, uh, it seems to me, on eBay at a certain time of the year. Even though eBay's, you know, uh, international, it, it seems like to me I've noticed that some things sell better uh, in the winter like uh, leather gloves or uh, ski shoes or... Uh, things of that nature. Is that true? Well, some people argue that there's uh, a lot more people spending time indoors on their computers in the winter instead of going out and doing summertime parties and stuff. So there's more bidders active and things go higher. Now, we noticed a big increase in November and December. So I don't know if that was Christmas related or if that was just cold weather related. But How is it for January? Just out of curiosity. Slowed down in January. So good in November and December and we're... You know, I haven't done all the numbers yet, but I can tell it's probably at least a 40% drop. Again, right back from, to where from, it was. From December, yeah. The reason I ask you is, you know, the jobs, you know, they uh, went up a little bit. The unemployment went down to 8.3 this morning. Oh, okay. And I was wondering if your business was affected like that, too. Not yeah, January was slow. But you know what? A lot of people get what they want for Christmas, and maybe they're doing less buying because they, they, they just got a whole bunch of Christmas presents and stuff, too. I don't know. It's hard to predict. Down here in Wildwood, you can go down there and pick. I was down there uh, last week. Now, right? Wildwood's an uh, indoor flea market, right? Well, it's indoor, but there were like eight or ten people set up outside Saturday. Well, we've been like, having really warm weather here. Yeah, and, I they, mean, it and was that Gary swap me down by Maryville, there must have been 30 or 40 people up there. Yeah, well, 50 degree weather, it's, it feels like spring. Even I, the flowers are popping out. I couldn't believe it. But I did notice that if you go in some stores, you get a little better deal. You know, I, I bought that German sewing machine for 20 bucks. I should have gave that to you to sell. But somebody that I knew wanted it and I sold it to him. It was a big mistake. I bought it for 20. It would have sold, you could have sold it for 130 bucks. Wow. And uh, I gave it to a friend of mine. I don't even want to say it's embarrassing. So have you run any of those classified ads yet this year? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, what's your first one going to buy? But I do have signs up, you know that. What, what, what do your signs say? What are you buying? I'm <laughs> buying. <laughs> I'll buy just about anything, but I prefer uh, military items. Okay, okay. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Collectibles, antiques, household items, items you don't want. And uh, quantities of items that you can't sell. And uh, I can't. Okay, so mm -hmm. tips for the, the video. Uh, look for indoor sales. Look for uh, place classified ads. Put some signs up that say you're buying. Yeah, Talk you know, to people, the, wherever you go. In the grocery you store, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's your life if you're making a living that way. Uh, when I had that store and those auctions or doing the swap meets and flea markets, I constantly talked about buying stuff. Everybody I knew, you know, I had people tell me, hey, you asked me yesterday, <laughs> you asked me the day before, but I just kept talking because that's how you get what you want. You know? So are you able to 
pick up the pace where it's almost as good as the summer and the winter months? Sure you can. Okay. That, that ad will make it just as good. You just have to do a little more work running around and calling the people out. Some people, of course, everybody thinks they got something worth a million dollars, and it's really only worth a half a million. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you just call that out as you go. You can pretty well tell when they call you. Well, those are great tips, Jack. Remember, I'll give you an example real quick. Remember the McDonald toys? Yeah. I advertised them on that Craigslist. I advertised them in the newspaper, and I got the same response everywhere. No way, why not? <laughs> no go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are ours. <laughs> we have a, friend, a friend of ours that I collected them. We have an inside joke on those. <laughs> the hardest thing ever to sell, old McDonald toys. Of all the things I've ever had, that's truly, the <laughs> matter of fact, it's truly the hardest. <laughs> okay, buddy. Thanks, Jack.